September 4th, 1995, as many of you know, two Marines and a sailor based at uh, Camp Hansen in Keene Village, central Okinawa, kidnapped and raped a 12-year-old girl. Uh, this was bad enough. It was not unusual. The occurrence of rapes is two a month for the last 10 years in Okinawa. This was not, this was not, uh, that is to say, this was bad enough, but it's what happened in the five years since then. Uh, the, uh, the fact that the American government has chosen to see this incident, which produced the greatest demonstration against the United States since the security treaty riots of 1960, uh, that is at Gino One, 85,000 people in October uh, 1995, organized <coughs> by the Women's Coalition, the Okinawan Women Against Military Violence, uh, uh, ask for amelioration of the, uh, their circumstances. 1.3 million Okinawans live on an island smaller than Kauai in the Philippine Islands with 39 American military bases today. There were 42 at the time of the rape. The, uh, uh, the, uh, it is what's happened since, and let me just say also, then after that, um, in February of 1996, Governor Ota, former professor who is, was the governor of Okinawa until he was defeated by the United States and Japan in, uh, through really tactics that would have made Clement Gottwald feel very much at home uh, in, uh, uh, in 1998, he invited me to Naha to give a speech. Uh, to say I was shocked is to put it uh, mildly. I would say that it takes about a half hour in Okinawa to detect that there is no strategy behind these deployments. They have simply been there since the Battle of Okinawa, since 1945. The troops are comfortable. I'm not anti-Marine. I'm a graduate of Assault Boat School, Camp Pendleton. But the 3rd Marine Division should have been demobilized years ago. It's worthless, as uh, both Secretary of Defense Carlucci and uh, and Aspen uh, so chose at one time to try and get rid of it. Uh, it's under strength, stretched out, has no armor. It has no sea lift capacity. In case of a serious crisis, it would be isolated. Uh, it's, uh, it is, uh, it's, that is to say, the Marines are still in Okinawa because of the officers clubs, because of the, uh, of the golf courses, because of the swimming pools. They're there for exactly the same reasons the Soviet troops did not want to leave East Germany. They were comfortable. They live better than they would live where they came from. We could easily train young Marines at Pendleton or 29 Palms infinitely more effectively than in a place as overcrowded as Okinawa. And we've asked, it is, of course, this is why the security treaty works so comfortably for the Japanese. If these bases were located in Kanagawa Prefecture, if they were located anywhere near Yokohama, they'd have been closed 25 years ago. There's some political clout there. But so long as they can keep them in a place that is essentially Japan's Puerto Rico, that is, Okinawa is a discriminated against territory. It was an independent kingdom until the, uh, uh, the uh, late 19th century when it was annexed by Japan. They have a distinct culture. They're much closer to China in, uh, in the past. Uh, they've been, uh, it's a dumping ground for, the, uh, for the, uh, the, the security treaty. And it keeps them out, that is, it doesn't uh, bother the Japanese government so long as they're there in Okinawa. It was that that, above all, caused me to uh, uh, change my mind, but it was then uh, particularly what's happened in the five years since. I mean, we've uh, promised to close Marine Corps Air Station Futama, located right in the center of Ginawan City. That is to say, you can just count, I mean, that is the people who teach there have to stop their classes three times an hour as the unbelievable racket of the airplanes taking off. The Marines acknowledge this. They, they stopped helicopter flights uh, so that the students of Gino you know, High School could take their college entrance exams, testifying that they knew full well that on any other day they couldn't hear themselves think. Uh, that is to say, if you're, uh, we, we promised to return Futema. We have not. We were dissimulating. Uh, we, in, in fact, the small print said they've got to build another airfield, the 40th base, somewhere else in Okinawa to serve our interests. It's and there are many other things like this that I could cite, but that's basically it. Uh, it caused me, over the last five years, to rethink the security treaty, to rethink the role of the United States in East Asia, uh, and uh, to produce a different perspective on the Cold War than the one that I held in the past.